Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my Infinity Train Reaction Series. We're about to start watching episodes seven and eight. These episodes are called The Chrome Car and The Ball Pit Car. And let's get watching. I am so stoked. Last week, things got pretty intense, so I'm excited to see where this goes Why from here. Why are so many cars where I end up picking stuff out of my hair? Who is that dog beneath me? How has he obtained the Imperial Crown of Corginia? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is terribly embarrassing. Do you guys remember? Whoa! No, I don't remember. Whoa! My memory has been terrible ever since the change. What change? My new haircut, didn't you notice? No, look, my reflection isn't moving with me. We place our foot on the ground at the same time in the opposite direction. Then we can cross the barrier into each other's world. I don't know about this world switching business. Well, if you want to mm -hmm. stay in this car forever, fine by me, but it's going to get real boring real quick. Trust me. I don't. Wow, thanks, Mirror Me. Do we do the same thing to switch back? Oh, that's no, how you do we not. switch back. I didn't say I was going to switch back. <gasps> I haven't come this far on the train to you get sure to my own reflection. I don't have to do your stupid coding anymore. I don't have to eat your stupid onions anymore. I'm going to explore Ooh. the world on my own. He keeps barking at me. I've already alerted oh. Reflection Enforcement. They'll bring her to justice. You called the flex on me? You little jerk! Oh, how nice! No need to explain. Slivers will do anything to get what they want. Slivers? Oh, Crack oh, very Terminator. Oh, slivers. Get it? We're gonna have to go above. So get the skins and the sand out. You can't kill her! I just thought she'd go to jail or something. That shadow, that sliver, is not a person. She exists to reflect your existence. And if she isn't serving that purpose, then we'll make sure she doesn't exist at all. Get this prime out of my sight. Hey! Ugh. This is terrifying. Oh, can she not? That's kind of sad. Hey, I can help you if you talk to me. It's funny coming from you. Just go away, Tulip. That's what you do best. Okay, you're right. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Miss Tulip, we're melting people. So, what's new with you? Now, you're your own reflection. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ooh, go, girl, go. I'm out. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. This is such a boring car to see first. Are you kidding? This is so cool. Oh, Do you think that would be a winning account? Will I get a checkbook? Look! Oh, it's those little <laughs> pens on chains. I spent my whole existence living your life. I I'm going my own way now. Okay. <laughs> Good luck to you, whoever you turn out to be. <laughs> What, what does three mean? I think out of all the episodes so far, that one might have been my least favorite. I don't know if it's because the other worlds have just been so fantastical that just to have a plain chrome car seemed a little lackluster. That is just my personal opinion. Let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comments down below. And now let's get watching episode eight. Very legal. I appreciate it. I declare bankruptcy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's right. This one was called the ball pit car. This is the kind of thing I'm going to miss when I get home. Hey, Atticus, thanks for sticking with me through all this. King needs to avenge the wrongs committed against his kingdom. Turning a blind eye to what that monster did isn't an option. I have never questioned our alliance or friendship, the latter of which I value more. Thanks. You're a good boy. I'm a good man. <laughs> we need you. He could be anywhere. Oh, you are hi, I'm Atticus, King and Uniter of the Cardigans and the Pembrokes. Well, I'm Khaki Bottoms, and all of the cotton <laughs> is rushing to my head. Sorry, Mr. Bottoms. Oh, I'm he's Tulip, so cute. And this is one that needs to be returned to his sacred holding chamber. The Jiggle Whip. <laughs> <laughs> That's the rewards await adventurers who are bold. The first trial has claimed many. <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> we could be stranded up here for weeks. I'll split up the rations. I'll warn you, I'm gamey. Fear not, one one. I've danced this tango once or twice before. Mm -hmm. No prob, Bob. Yay! <laughs> Yay! We're courage and grace. Is there something that just swam past that window? Few eyes get the gaze upon his majesty. You are so lucky. You may select any of the Jiggle Wiggle. An excellent choice. It's <laughs> basically the most fun thing ever. Whoa. Neat. <laughs> there was. I bet there was something swimming by the window, and it was that. Oh, it freaks me out so much. Kingdom on a crusade, only to cower before my dragon. Atticus! If something happens to Atticus, I will never forget this show. This would have been so much easier for all of us if you had just stayed put. I still wanted to help you. I send the cat to offer you your tape to live inside your happiest memories. But what do you do with my gift? You reject it. Now that I've tracked them down for you, may I go? Where's the robot? <gasps> one, one, no! run! Bring the robot to me, and then I give you your freedom. One, one! And that leaves you all alone. You killed my friends! Let's talk about your friends. They didn't have to be here. All of this is your fault. Mm -hmm. Oh, no more tears. <laughs> I am the conductor. Oh, no. It's okay to cry. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys. Man, I feel like having Atticus change into that horrible monster is almost more painful than just having him die. Unless they can find a way to change him back. In which case, I will be glad that he's still alive, but if they can't, like, 
What a terrible fate for him. And the conductor is evil, which means that Tulip's hope and her hunch of how she could get back home is now gone. And she has these two terrifying robots after her, plus the cat. And we're still no closer to figuring out what the numbers mean. Oh, you guys, nine and 10 are about to get real, I think. Ugh. I should have known when Atticus had that monologue inside the ball pit telling Tulip how much he cared about her and their journey. I should have known something bad was gonna happen to him. Oh, it's so sad. Maybe things will get resolved in the finale. Maybe, hopefully. As always, my fellow dweebs, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed my reaction and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And I will see you dweebs next week for the finale.